Hey everybody, OCD Mikey here. I got my glasses now, I can see. Um, but I might take them off because uh, when I look close, these I really probably should have bifocals. But anyways, um, I wanted to uh, show you something. I've been sitting here and doing um, some, like yesterday, I, I, I've, I've had these amps right in front of me this whole time and something just dawned on me, which um, I don't know why it took so long to dawn on me, okay? I'm talking about the Jeff Rowland, the 125, okay? So this is what we heard yesterday with the analog tape, and we heard it just kick ass, sounded beautiful. Um, it's, you know, you can see the size of it. It's a nice little, uh, you know, the size is um, not too big, so it fits in a lot of places. It's, it's un unobtrusive, that's for sure. I'll show you the back of this thing. It's pro all the way, man. I mean, this is the top. This is high end, okay? Um, you see how those the, the the plate is held in with the outputs with these um, with these Allen screws here are the hex bolts and then these are highfalutin I mean they're they're very high quality um, Cardis uh, posts that have one you can crank these things down and really get a firm grip there is no better grip um, on these um, I, I I sometimes when I'm trying to put a uh, cable in with one hand it little it's a little weird but um, other than that the grip on these things that's what's killer about them is they squeeze down harder than anything and they get a nice even pressure on both of them even so it's a it's an even pressure on both inputs or i mean outputs rather both speaker cables um so you have your um in your inputs here are balanced you see left and right you've got a trigger which is right there um and then your left and right i'm um, balanced and then uh see that switch at the bottom in the center this one this little toggle that's for to bridge it and so you gotta throw this little guy and it bridges for 500 watts Okay, so in other words, this is a, this is a 500 watt mono block, or it's a 125. As you were hearing it last night, it was 125 watts per channel. It sounds phenomenal. Um, and I'm sitting here thinking to myself, and all of a sudden it dawns on me, all this stuff and how it's put together. I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna put out a challenge. I think this is the highest value, three thousand dollar amp in all of hi-fi. Okay, I challenge anybody to show me. An amp that has a dealer network. Okay, I'm not talking about the direct sale companies. Okay, because they sell for half of what normal they would sell for. So, companies that have dealer networks that are that are established companies, who's got a three thousand dollar amp that comes in a block of aluminum? Okay, in a block of aluminum. This is American built, by the way, made in America. So that's we're going to take that into consideration. If you show me some Chinese crap, we have to we're going to have to adjust for that because it costs a lot more to make it in the United States than it does over there. So three grand, this thing is 125 watts per channel at eight ohm solid. You heard it. It was on MagnaPans yesterday. I was cranking it loud and that's on MagnaPans, which suck juice out of amps. Um, so um, billet aluminum case, not only billet, but with this proprietary, nobody knows, nobody knows how to do this. Nobody knows how to do this. This is a special. You see that? This is perfectly flat, but there's waves in it, isn't there? Yep, there is. That's Jeff Rowland's trademark is that finish. It's a mill finish. It means it's done with a machine. It's not like, you know, it's not some sort of painted on or anything. I mean, this thing just reflects. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's one piece. Even though this looks like this is a faceplate and stuck on there, it's not. It's it's. This is just... Two different colors, but this is one block, okay? And then everything's accessed through a bottom plate, okay? Um, it bridges for 500 watts. It's got a trigger on it, so it can be remote triggered. It ha and, and, it, um, and it's got this billet with this beautiful finish. I mean, truly, for three grand, somebody can, get, can see what it feels like to have a world-class amplifier. Because his other, his pieces... You've seen my 625, or, uh, um, yeah, 625s on the side, 625S2s. Those are 17.5. Uh, so 15 grand for the pair. Uh, I'm sorry. 17.5. So 35,000 for the pair of them, okay? Let me, let me, well, I'll show you, the, I'll show you that after so you can compare and we can look at the two. But it's the same material, the same finish. Um, and there, I'm telling you, there's one thing about Jeff's amps that um, I know to be true. Not only do they kick ass in every situation that you put them in and uh, always work well and never break, but they, um, and sound phenomenal, but um, there's a certain pride of ownership with this piece that I've not encountered. Let me see. What did I... I 
I'm trying to see if there's something else that I can think of of my gear that, that matches the pride of ownership. Um, maybe the Nat Audio, um, big tube things, those guys. That, that, that might be it, but um, they don't have the lineage. This has the lineage. Um, that, that, so there's something about the, uh, an amp, these amps, and ask anybody who's ever bought one, okay? Does it have a vibe of pride of ownership? They're going to tell you absolutely, okay? Um, and, and you will know it once you buy one. You'll see what I'm talking about. Something about this, you're just like, heck yeah, American built. Look at this thing. It's got history that has always been just phenomenal. And it kicks butt. It's only 3K. Um, so that blows my mind. I think it's the, the highest value $3,000 power amp in the hi-fi market. Okay? And just bring, tell me of something else that's higher value. Okay, and then again, it's got to be something that has a dealer network because this is this is dealer cost uh, or I mean dealer price when he sells it to you for three thousand dollars. Okay, so I want to know what's better for three grand than this piece here. I think this has the highest value. I don't think anything can touch it in terms of chassis nor power, five hundred watts, um, nor just I mean all the of the features that it has. I don't think I don't think so. So. Um, Let's let's I, I I pose that to you as a challenge. Let me show you. Let's see. I'm going to flip this back around. I'm going to show you the 625s. If I can figure this dang thing out. Let's see. Turn around. Well, it's not doing it. Okay. Oh, I've got a lock on it. Hmm. Well, whatever. Okay. So here's the 625. Okay. So you can see this. Wait. Where are we? Okay. So you can see that piece. Okay, the same finish. It's the same aluminum, the same type of aluminum. And but it's got, I mean, look at this. That's the heat sinks. The heat sinks are are part of the chassis. They're milled out. I mean, that's wicked. Nobody does that. That is so cool. And if anybody does, they copied this. Jeff was the only the first one to do this for sure. And then you see on the back here, you know, it's the same, same things, man. The same input, the same hardware that's on the the $17,000 amp or 17.5 is is the as the $3,000 amp. So, you know what that tells me? That tells me that Jeff and his company is has made an amplifier that they are willing to sacrifice profits on so that they can bring the Jeff Rowland quality to the person that doesn't that can't spend like their top stuff, okay? So in other words, Jeff Rowland tipped a hat to the people that are not his normal customer base. His normal customer base does not buy $3,000 amplifiers, okay? It's for people that don't, that have not owned Roland yet and and, are, and want to try something and that, you know, oh, let me get this down here so it doesn't shake. Um, And, and want to try, no, oh, I guess you're supposed to do it this way. Otherwise, your neck looks like a pack of hot dogs. <laughs> okay, I still don't have this down, um, down right. But anyways, um, and so, um, so he has made uh, an amplifier that 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 is a nod. A, he's tipped his hat to the folks that, that just can't, to the millennials, to the folks that can't, that, that don't want, don't, don't want to spend it or can't spend it, whatever. Um, uh, more than three thousand dollars for an amp, they can't buy the sixteen thousand, seventeen thousand dollar amplifiers. Um, and so, um. That's something else. Um, I don't think it's recognized. And all of a sudden I sat here and I'm like, damn, you know, wait a second. There's like, there's nothing that I know of that's, that's, there's nothing in close for three grand that has that, that, that chassis and that kind of thing. Anyways, so I just wanted to, I wanted to pose this as a, as a question to you guys. Who knows of a better, who knows of an amp that is higher value than that for three grand? You heard it last night. I'm going to play it again. We'll showcase it some more. I'll make mono blocks and make them into monos. We'll do some other stuff with them. Um, they're diehard little 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 things, man. And they, they, they're heavy. Even though I'm holding one in one hand, it's it's still a chunk of aluminum. It's heavy. It's just not going to vibrate, you know, on the, on top of the table. Um, so anyways, let's let's I, I'd like to issue that challenge. What is better um, and, 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 and more beautiful and, 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 and more has this type of pride of ownership. I don't think anything has a pride of ownership. And so I don't even care about that part. Okay. We know there's, that's not going to be matched. Um, let's see for three grand who can match this or do better than that. Any brand out there that has a dealer network. Okay. So let's check it out. I want to know. Okay. See you.